Whoops, we have a small problem. Arnold, don't be scared, <gasps> but you are buried alive. Just like Rodrigo Cortez. <laughs> uh, stop yelling already. Screaming increases panic, heart, and accordingly the amount of air you use. And you have a maximum of two hours of breathing in your coffin until you run out of oxygen. Arnold, your phone, you're only two meters deep. Hooray! There's one line of connection. Call your loved ones. They'll save you. But this isn't certain because for them, you're dead. They'll probably think your call is someone's stupid hmm. prank. Try to connect to the internet. Your post will be seen for sure, but only after they like a cat in a funny suit, a new post by Ariana Grande, and a funny-shaped potato. I have it. Geotag posts get 79% more engagement, and a post that says oil was found will 100% attract the attention of Donald Trump. In critical situations, a person's animal instincts wake up. Well, I expected that it would wake up in you. Arnold, when lacking oxygen, people often see hallucinations. Maybe we can Google what to do. Don't hammer a nail in your life like it's a coffin lid. Get out of your comfort zone. There's no way. Oh, kill Bill too. Do it like Uma Thurman. You need to punch a hole in the lid. Be strong in spirit. Collect all your anger like Naruto. Ooh, did it hurt? You need to somehow break the lid. Look if you have anything in your pockets. Ew, Arnold, what is that? Oh, give me a break. You won't even need them outside the coffin. Ooh, this will do. Breakthrough. Hit. It's like you're trying to escape from fascists or from the whining songs of Billie Eilish. You did it. Now you have to tamp all the dirt into the coffin to clear your way out. You have to lift your shirt so that it can be tied over your head. This is so that you don't suffocate from dirt falling on your head. Arnold. 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 Wake up. Hallucinations again. It's way easier for a person to get from out of a depth if it's equal or less than their height. But since we have two meters here, you should try to crawl up like a worm. Arnold, you're almost there. Hey. Congratulations, you're alive. You scared us. Don't die like that again. Hey, Arnie. Your tricks suck. If you want to be popular, you need to stand out. How about some real magic? For example, the magician Harry Houdini got out of being buried alive with his hands tied. I think you know what I'm getting at, Arnie. Today, we're going to bury you alive. You're going to do it in a special way this time. You need to breathe calmly and deeply in order to conserve your oxygen. Okay, now quit being calm. We need to get the handcuffs off. It's really simple. All you need to do is break one finger on each hand so you can slip them through the cuffs. Oh, quit your belly aching, Arnie. You still got two more fingers left. Use your belt or watch to try to crack open the lid. A metal coffin has weak points all along the edges. Come on, Arnie, I was kidding. You can't break through the metal, doofus. There's two meters of earth above you, which is pressing down with a mass of almost two and a half tons. Arnie? Arnie, where are you? Oh, you little bastard. Yes, you really are Arnie Houdini. In just the same way, Harry Houdini climbed through a secret compartment in the sidewall of the coffin and into a tunnel. And then through a hatch in the grave, he dropped down on the coffin from above and covered himself with a half meter layer of dirt. But where's the hatch, Arnie? Surprise! You didn't really think I'd let you out so easy, did you? Swim up, Arnold, before the concrete sets. Oh, yeah, I forgot to tell you. The concrete solution, when interacting with water, forms alkaline molecules. And because there's a lot of moisture in your skin, then, well, it's gonna hurt. Congratulations, Arnold. You did it. You managed to attract attention to yourself. Revel in the glory. Hey, when did you manage to get to the seaside? So, what's the whole beach set for anyway? Ah, is this to get Bertha's attention? Wow, it actually worked. She invited you to visit her. But, hey, buddy, do you have enough money for a ticket? I have an idea. You can fly to Bertha in extra super duper economy class. And instead of the usual tablet and pillow, you're gonna need food, water, and a porta potty. Don't worry, Arnold. You're not the first one to travel like this.
Reginald Reg Spears, without any money, got all the way to another continent in just three days. Nowadays, warehouses are like cities with their own laws and regulations. The probability of losing a package is reduced to a minimum. Robots work on the conveyors by reading special barcodes. This reduces the risk of human error. In 2019, China set a world delivery record with 345 million packages delivered in just one day. The worst thing that can happen to a package is that it can get detained in a port at customs. I agree, for the person inside, this ain't like staying at the Ritz. Finding yourself in a confined space under the blazing hot sun is a difficult task to endure. Arnold, hang on, little buddy. It's just a little longer now. To be precise, 23 days, 17 hours, and 45 minutes. And a person is not the most amazing thing ever delivered in a package. An entire bank was transported this way. It was dismantled and sent to another city. Welcome to Australia, Arnold. One of the benefits of traveling by package is courier delivery right to the final destination point. Bertha will be here any minute. Wow, what a babe. Arnold, are you ready? Good look for you, Arnold. She definitely won't forget you like that. Are you surprised you're the only passenger on board? This Boeing 767 belongs to the most dangerous airline in the world. <laughs> right after the company was founded in 2003, one of its aircraft went off the runway during landing. Passengers received many injuries, but fortunately all survived. Then, again, after some time, one of its planes disappeared from radar half an hour before landing. After two days of searching, it was found, crashed into a mountain, and out of 104 people on board, only microbes survived. Rule number one on a plane, always buckle up. Air density is constantly changing. Imagine this, it's summer. You're flying over a field with a warm breeze blowing up at the plane. Then suddenly the field ends and you start flying over a cold lake. The warm winds suddenly stop influencing the plane and you start going wee! Turbulence will shake the plane and can knock it down by three meters. And all of this is happening at a speed of 800 kilometers an hour. And if you're not buckled up during a sudden 2G load, you're a goner. Every single collision with your seat or the plane will break your ribs, twist your arms, break your skull, and then, holy shit. Rarefied gas, which flies out of the engine, attracts lightning more strongly than anything on land. But the most interesting thing is that large planes often create lightning themselves. From the tail, an electrical discharge of hundreds of thousands of amps extends into the clouds, and from the nose into the ground. Lightning can break the windshield and disable all the electronics on board. Hold on, Arnold. Lightning could have been worse than the stubble on your hands and hands. Oh my god, Arnold. If you cut the wheelchair one last time at your funeral, the world was consumed by a new epidemic. The infected have spots on their skin. A terrible rash covers their entire face. They cough continuously and their front teeth fall out. And in order not to be isolated, people are inoculating en masse by buying the vaccine on the black market, deliberately putting themselves at risk as the vaccine has not yet been approved. But they do this so they can return to normal life as soon as possible. Arnold, what are you doing here? Oh, are you on a date? That's cool, but you sure could find a place more romantic than this cafe on the outskirts of the city. Here she is. Wow, what did you tell her to get her to come on a date with you? Uh-oh, how did so many zombies get in here? Arnold, it seems that Susie is in trouble. An average zombie, it has green skin and smells like my grandmother's feet. At first glance, it may seem that this is just your ordinary gamer who hasn't eaten for three days. But no, zombies have their own diet. Usually, these cute creatures eat human brains. Arnold, what are you gonna do? Wow, now 
that, that, that's what I call a gun. Who is that? Wow, no way. That's Chuck freaking Norris. And he's got an entire arsenal here. Now he's going to kick some butt. Yikes, this is kind of brutal even by my low standards. But very cool. Blimey, how many zombies are there? Looks like this big guy is the only one left. You call that a punch. This is a punch. Your date seems to have been canceled due to the unforeseen zombie attack. Arnold, don't forget about Susie. Crikey, are they immortal? Chuck, hit the gas. Huh, that went pretty okay. Oh no. Look, Arnie, you and Susie have something in common. Just like you, she loses her fingers. Hmm, it seems she's getting worse. Quick, do something. You guys gotta save her. Grigory Rasputin, the most mysterious person of the 20th century. He's credited with hypnotic abilities and an extraordinary gift of healing. What a creepy place. Even worse than that cafe you invited Susie to, Arnold. What are we doing here? Where are we going? This is how I imagine the dentist office. 100% dreadful. Hey, can we maybe stop before it's too late? Here, everything is in the best traditions of Russian celebrations. Vodka, balalaika, bears, and dancing till morning. And here's the guy we need, Grigory Rasputin. This here's the big guy. It seems our healer has drunk an 80-proof potion. Looks like you're gonna have to figure things out on your own. You don't need to worry about him. Everyone is talking about the new vaccine. Many have already tried it out on themselves, but it turns out it has a side effect. People turn into zombies. This Rasputin guy turned out to be a real you necromancer. He took advantage of the situation and invented a vaccine that destroys the virus, but turns the living into zombies. Even Chuck is shocked. Chuck, your turn. Gosh darn it, how does he do it? He's even cooler than in Walker, Texas Ranger. So that's who Van Damme took lessons from. Ooh, here comes Daddy. This big guy is not going to be taken down so easily. Arnie, you're the only one left. Arnie, you are a warrior. Remember all the things I taught you. And most importantly, remember, there is no enemy but yourself. Arnold, are you? I knew it. Goodbye, Arnold. Bad weather doesn't justify taking a day off. What, you don't want to go to work? Then I suggest you work in bed. When NASA was studying how zero gravity impacts a person, they paid $18,000 to a volunteer to lie in a bed for 70 days. Just don't even think about getting up, Arnie. I hired a sniper who will terminate you at your very first try. You will eat, drink, and do everything else while lying down. See ya, buddy! Hey, did you get any sleep? How are you doing? I guess not so cool. It looks like you're gaining weight. All the energy that comes from the food you eat isn't going anywhere. But bed sores, that's bad. Due to high blood pressure, blood stops flowing to the skin. Hold on, old sport. Good news, Arnold. You're close to the record set by Soviet scientists. 370 days in bed. Yeah, you don't look so hot. Every day, you're losing 5% of your muscle mass. On top of that, your bones are also damaged. And due to your lack of mobility, your bones don't repair and they quickly start deteriorating. And paradoxically, falling asleep lying down becomes impossible. Without a shift in activity, the brain doesn't know what time of day it is or when it's time to sleep. But this does have its perks. You can watch all your favorite shows over and over again. I'll leave you here now. Enjoy the show, Arnold. Hey, Arnie, now you'll be eating only raw meat like a carnivore. Can you feel how quickly your levels of adrenaline and aggression are rising? Of course, it'll be a little difficult for you to chew, as human teeth aren't adapted to eating raw meat. 
Better cut it into small pieces, like the ancient Mongols did. In fact, the most famous dish made of raw meat, steak tartare, is named after them. Without cereals, vegetables, and fruits, the flow of glucose, which is fuel for your body, will stop. Your liver will start to process its fat stores to meet your body's energy needs, and you'll start to lose weight, up to 5 kilograms a week. Your muscles will start to dehydrate and dry out. That's why a meat diet is so popular among Hollywood celebrities and supermodels. Cholesterol levels in your blood will go up and, well, let's face it, you'll be at increased risk of heart disease. Amino acids will fill your intestines and they'll mix with bacteria from your skin and that will lead to a super grungy body odor. Raw meat does contain some dangerous microorganisms such as E. coli, salmonella, and listeria. And they can cause you to suffer from diarrhea, vomiting, and just general old heaviness in your stomach. But when your body finally adapts to such food, you'll feel a surge in energy and physical strength. The reason for this is increased testosterone and vitamin D levels. Even Bruce Lee himself, when preparing for fights, liked to have a tall glass of yummy fresh meat smoothie. Our ancient ancestors used to eat raw meat, but their lives changed forever when they figured out how to use fire and began cooking. That cut by two-thirds the time needed for digestion. So energy use moved from the stomach to the brain, and this triggered a cognitive revolution. Humans began to use much more abstract thinking and developed complex languages. And as a result, modern civilization developed. So eat, my dear Arnold, eat! And soon you'll end up with the IQ of a caveman or a fashion model, which, meh, they're roughly the same. Arnie, did you waste all your money on the online farm again? Okay, fine. Now you're gonna have to eat virtual food. By the way, did you know that Bill Gates is a McDonald's gold card holder? It gives you the right to eat there for free. And you obviously need it more than anyone else. Where to start? I suggest the special suicide burger from Burger King. It's got four patties, four slices of cheese, and bacon. 800 calories. And here comes the Mickey D's french fries. They contain 19 hidden ingredients. Arnold, eat! One burger patty can consist of parts from a hundred different cows at once. In total for the fast food industry, 50 million cows are butchered a year. Are you finished already? Then drink some soda. It's deliberately free here because it wets your appetite. Thankfully, to satisfy your urges, there are already 39,000 McDonald's open in 120 countries around the world. And in the UK, recycled oil from french fries even fuels trucks. Over the past 20 years, the number of overweight people in the world has tripled. You better stop, Arnold, because with a diet like this, you'll gain 10% of your body weight per month. And this will lead to... Arnold, stop already! You now have type 2 diabetes. You're depressed and your blood vessels are chock full of fat. And this could easily cause you to suffer a heart attack. Fast food is extremely high calorie and is practically devoid of vitamins and minerals. My advice, you need to urgently switch to healthy food cooked at home. Otherwise, you're in big trouble. There you go. Good for you, Arnold. How about I'm going to visit you for dinner tonight? O-M-G! Arnold! What in tarnation did you make? Roasted piglet? Chocolate caramel cake? That's not what I meant. It's not just about not eating fast food, buddy. It's about any kind of high-calorie food, and you're overeating. Those are some beautiful, large vegetables. Hey, stop eating in the store. Those vegetables are GMO, genetically modified organisms.
happens. This tomato contains a silkworm gene, and your normal everyday cucumber has a 40% similarity to a human from a genetic standpoint. But don't be afraid. GMO isn't scary, and I know just how to prove it to you. Let's genetically modify you, Arnold. It's illegal to do such experiments on human beings. But in 2018, two genetically modified babies were born in China. They were programmed to have immunity to HIV. Now, we're in the Pentagon's tippity-top secret laboratory. They mainly produce GMO soldiers. CRISPR-Cas9 is a new technology that allows the DNA of one organism to be implanted into the DNA of another. A regular fish was implanted with genes from a bioluminescent jellyfish. Now it's a glowfish. Vegetables are modified for longer storage and better taste. Do you want to be taller? We can use the Michael Jordan gene. And we'll remove the sweating gene from you so you stop stinking so much. And meet Arnold 2.0. A new life has begun. Without sweat, people will finally sit next to you on the bus, and your neighbor's grandma will stop calling you a short little redheaded virgin. Now she'll just call you a redheaded virgin. Yes, genetic engineering isn't perfect yet, but it is the future. Designer GMO babies are coming soon, and it'll be possible to remove the cruelty gene from criminals. It's a new stage of evolution. Sweet dreams, Arnold 2.0. Hey, what's going on? Arnold, did you steal all the syringes from the lab? What, you want to inject yourself with the strawberry gene to smell good? And a corgi gene for a perfect butt? Don't do this, Arnold. Stop! Oh, ye gods, what have we done? I was wrong. Genetic engineering is dangerous, not only for the organism, but for the whole city as well. Dipnob, stop acting like you're king of the beasts. Have some respect, Arnold. You and the chimpanzee share ancestors. We diverged from them seven million years ago. Life lived in the forest and in open plains simultaneously helped us develop bipedalism and our upright posture. This in turn freed up our hands for tool use and other useful activities such as taming fire. Cooking food helped contribute to better and faster digestion, which, together with some other things, led to us developing our bigger and better brains. Yes, Arnie, I know it's hard to believe, but the march of evolution is still ongoing. For example, because we began to cook food before eating, our jaws have shrunk and wisdom teeth have already stopped growing in 20% of human beings. In addition, along with the improvement in the quality of food, the average height of Homo sapiens has increased by 10 centimeters. But then again, so has his weight. However, for modern people, it's not body changes that are so important, but technology. It allows us to move around while sitting, fly, and even get a cold beer without getting out of our comfy chairs. What'll be next? Wow, look! It looks like scientists have created a supercomputer that can predict our future. And it has a message for us. Let's listen. Over the past hundred years, the number of people on the planet has quadrupled. At the same time, humanity has destroyed 80% of all animal fauna. And environmental pollution has already led to irreversible climate change. Therefore, in the future, due to global warming, our bodies will stretch, our skin will darken, and our ears will grow out for better heat dissipation. Whoa, Arnold, you look a lot like your neighbor, Henry. But the fact is, in the last 150,000 years, Homo sapiens' brains have shrunk by 200 grams, and they're continuing to shrink. A more comfortable life leads to inactivity and degradation. Homo sapiens could lose his intelligence forever. 
Elon Musk has launched a new rocket into space, and space has launched a meteor back at Elon Musk. Arnold, relax. You don't even know what a meteor is. A meteor is a large celestial body of cosmic origin. Their mass ranges from a few grams to thousands of tons. And don't be scared. There's only one case of a meteor strike hitting a person in history in 1954. And even then, it just hit somebody in their leg. It seems like somebody's volunteering to save the planet. And he's just bursting with enthusiasm. It looks like this episode will be the shortest ever and have a happy end. Ah, uh, no, never mind. Same old, same old. Seems like our planet is about to be destroyed. Or maybe there's another savior. Could it be Arnold? Excellent. We'll pick an outfit for you. So this one is a no. Definitely not this one. Yee! No, not that one. Now this one. This is what you need. Although we could just copy what Project Dart from SpaceX did. It's planned that in 2022, a spacecraft weighing 500 kilograms will ram into an asteroid named Didymos at a speed of 6 kilometers per second. The autopilot hasn't been installed yet, so you're going to have to fly manually and become a hero. Oh, wow, Arnold, you survived. Pretty much like all the other lowest forms of life, like microbes. But now there is a small issue with water. After a meteor 100 kilometers in diameter hit the Earth, the shockwave destroyed almost all life within a radius of 100,000 square kilometers. There was a huge release of sulfur, and dust and ash from all the destruction rose into the upper atmosphere and blocked access from the sun's mm. rays. You must be hungry. It's good that you kept your space food in the rocket. There wasn't any food. That's terrible, because there's no food left on Earth. It's good that you're in a spacesuit, since it's minus 50 degrees outside, and you don't want to walk here for very long. Watch out! I forgot to add that cockroaches have also survived, and they've mutated just a wee little bit. You better run to infinity and beyond! Arnold, how in blazes did you get yourself into such a state? Looks like this burrito was out of your league. Quick, find something to drink. Arnold, wait. God knows what might be in this magic shop. Well, since you successfully solved your Mexican food problem, let's go have some fun. What a huge line. It looks like you'll have to wait for a bit. Or... Arnold, this is not a good thing to do. Looks like this cute little granny needs your help. Arnold, watch out! You know, Arnold, I decided to go to the morgue and say my final goodbyes to you. Oh my god, are you alive? No, you've been resurrected. It seems that the elixir you drank worked. You are now immortal. Congratulations, Arnold. You will now be the longest living organism on Earth. Your body is now regenerating, and the term cellular senescence is now just a joke for you. Well, how are you going to use your immortality? Got it. You'll cross the road on red. Grope random girls. You'll also win the Kenny McCormick Lookalike Contest. That's ridiculous. You have an infinite number of years ahead of you, and you waste them on this? Arnold, you could study everything in the world, learn any martial art, and even go explore and colonize new galaxies. Arnold, how about maybe stop wasting your time? Okay, so maybe for 200 years, you're going to binge watch every single Netflix series. I see you got a little bored. Plus, your house has started to decay, and you're still young. One of the disadvantages of immortality is that you have to outlive all your loved ones. In addition, the world around you is changing rapidly. But you will lag behind in progress, and you will feel superfluous in society. 
everything that was once important to you will gradually disappear. Over time, everything will cease to please and surprise you at all because you've already seen everything. You will become deeply depressed. Sorry, friend, but it's no use. Stop it, Arnold. You know you're immortal. Arnold, let's go watch the show. Arnold. Okay, I'll leave you alone.